This is Craig. This is Steve. Photo 30 remote, flash fill, and overpowering the sun. Looks like the picture of me is a little bit dark here, Mr. Moore. Yes, let's open up the exposure. That was what the meter gave us in aperture priority. So we went to manual mode and we slowed down the shutter speed a little, start to get more detail. And for everybody watching, just uh, the camera settings are up in the left hand corner. Pay attention that the F18 does not change. We're only adjusting shutter speed. Here it is at a 25th of a second and that looks like it is a typical sunlit shot, backlit, not great detail in the face. No, but if I was not even standing there, I would say that's a nice picture or nice exposure for that outdoor set setting right there. Right. So it's not until I stand in there can you tell that I need to be lit. All right, so what we're going to do is add some fill light to get more detail. All right, so we set up our Alien B. It's on full power. It's got a soft box. And you see we're still at, we're at a 30th of a second F18. So it's at full power. What we really did was move the light in and out until we got this balance that looks like flash fill, where the sunlight is really the main source. And the uh, strobe, softbox strobe is just providing an amount of fill light on my face to open up the shadows. Now this one here, we went to a 40th of a second, still F18 and background gets a little darker, just subtly so, but it does start to get darker. So what you're gonna see is the transition from the background only getting darker and darker. So the very first picture with the strobe was flash fill and we are going to be moving towards overpowering the sun. As we speed up the shutter speed, the exposure on Steve is not changing because the flash is not being um, affected by our shutter or our f stop, our shutter speed change. Sorry, uh, but the background is we're at a sixtieth. Background's getting darker, and it's beginning to look a little bit more dramatic. Maybe uh, I'm beginning to pop a little bit more separation from the background. Creates this, definitely draws our attention to you. Yep. It's an ADS. This is at a hundredth. Background is looking underexposed because that's bright sun on the sidewalk and that's too dark, but we have great exposure on Steve. One one twenty-fifth of a second. So in that spirit of exploration that we continue to, you know, uh, communicate to you guys to keep trying. We're just going to keep going a little faster and a little faster to see what it looks like. 1 one sixtieth, a 200th. Now most of your cameras, this is going to be the fastest shutter speed that it will still sync with the flash. But here it's very dramatic. Background looks dark, like it's a shady situation. Shady situation indeed. Yeah. <laughs> the two of us, right? All right, now what we're going to show you is if you go uh, above your sync speed, you'll see that the left-hand side of our frame starts to get darker because the shutter is starting to jump ahead. It's not remaining completely open when the flash goes off. 250th. 320, definitely. So we're, we've gone way beyond the sync speed of this camera. And a 400th. You can start to see that Steve's arm is getting dark and that's because the shutter is jumping ahead. It's closing too fast. All right, now here's our setup. You can see that there's the softbox, Steve standing in camera. Softbox is what, about three feet apart? About three feet, three feet away. Feet from the subject. Yep. Um. See our camera? not right at the soft box, but pretty close along that axis. So the subject is looking into the light and looking to the lens. Yeah, the, the soft box is just off camera. You can see right there is a good viewpoint. Just a little wider view. You can see we're just on the street. These are parked cars uh, over on the side. So this is something you could do out uh, in your yard. Right on your own sidewalk? Absolutely. Now, the soft box for us and probably for you too, was close, 
because the the light is only a 400 watt second light or whatever the rating is but it's it's not a very powerful light if you um, if you had a more powerful light you could back up the uh, the softbox a little bit further so um, if you're challenged to get the right uh, exposure from the flash move it in closer and here's from behind our subject you can see how the position of the camera in relation now you have a lot of freedom there you can move the camera closer to the soft box uh, and so the subject will be looking more into the light that's a great shot of the positioning of the soft box to the subject and depending on what you're having your subject do as far as the pose the soft box can be vertical or horizontal absolutely now remember don't shoot so close that that we cannot see some of the background. We need to really identify the exposure that you're choosing for the background so we can grade it. You know, it's, it's, we're looking at two different lights. One is your decision on the background exposure and your decision on the flash exposure. So don't crop so tight that we can't see a little bit of background back there. And here's from the position of the subject. You see we had vertical softbox, but our uh, camera's pretty close as far as the access. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so if we do a quick review here, this was our flash fill. Flash fill. Because this was too dark on our subject. This is ambient light. The meter reading shot in manual just matched uh, up the setting, made the camera happy. But this is what we were trying to get to fill the shadow. Subject looks well exposed. It actually looks like a fill reflector was used, doesn't it? Right. Like one of those pop-up reflectors. And there's always a downside to the pop-up reflector. It moves around. Uh, it's hard to make it brighter or less powerful because you're just using the sun, whereas using a speed light or Alien B or other electronic flash, it's you consistent. control the power. Yeah, it's consistent. Exactly. And then what we're trying to get to eventually is this overpowering the sun where we underexposed the background and our subject stands out. So those are, is the progression, the first baseline exposure didn't work well, adding some fill. Now for this first shot here, to see what that might look like, if you have a pop-up reflector or a piece of foam core, you can play with that first to see what fill should look like and decide where you're going to pit, position the soft box before you set up. But please experiment. You can see as the background is changing here, lighter, going to darker. Do you have a favorite? Uh, I yeah, happen I to like the 1 1 25th of a second. 1 1 25th? Because we still get a feeling of what was going on in the background. It still looks like the sun was up. Shadows on the ground, shadows on the wall, and truly it's the technique of overpowering the sun. I, I do like the 1 1 25th for the same reason. There's something about the drama of this, but it becomes where you lose the story. There's, you've, you've lost detail in the background, and you just. You're not interested. No one's interested in seeing what's back there anymore. So I, I think I agree with you on the 1 125th. And the 200th, still not quite there. 1 1 60th, the 1 1 25th, better balance. Yeah. It does not look like it's a harsh strobe, even if you go to the 100th of a second. Yeah. Because uh, you want to strike a balance. It doesn't look like one is overpowering the other, even though we're overpowering the sun. It's a better balance. Here. It, you know, it just occurred to me, too, is that because we're using this lots of depth of field and we have this dramatic light, it almost looks like I've been photoshopped in. Yes, it does. Doesn't it? So if it feels that way to you, I think you're probably right in the target zone. Yeah, and you'll see that when it starts to look fake, unreal, that you weren't there, that we yeah. dropped you in, that's not the right setting. Yeah. Okay? All right, so... Uh, we'll be going over this with you when we meet next time. We'll have this video posted uh, as it gets close to the assignment date. So again, this is Craig. Steve. Any questions? You got our email. See you next time. Bye-bye.